Hey everyone, this is Officer Miss First 30 Minutes here. Look at these beautiful t-shirts we have for sale. There's only a few more days left to get one, so make sure you go over to the site and you purchase your t-shirt today. We have these awesome four colors that I renamed the colors for. We have the Purple People Eater, which is Officer First 30 Minutes favorite color. Then we have the Elephant Gray and the Stormy Dark Gray. And then we also have my personal favorite, the Mayberry Blue. So be sure that you get one of these awesome shirts before they're no longer available. And yeah, have a great day. Thank you. Deputies, welcome back to another patrol in Autobahn Police Simulator 2. There's been another update actually came out on the release of this video. We're on patch number 1.0.13. They're still working to fix a lot of the bugs. You know, when this game first released, it was not polished at all. Had a lot of issues. Uh, there's still issues persisting, but uh, I'm glad to see frequent updates. Hopefully they can get this game in a much more playable state. So today, I don't think we necessarily have a mission assigned to us, but I was thinking we'd just do some um, highway enforcement on the Autobahn, pull people over for uh, breaking traffic law so we'll go ahead get in our bmw patrol car and start today's shift Alright, we've got a call out about somebody in a rear end collision. Nobody has been injured, so that's good to hear. No injuries. We're just trying to get past these few cars. This one car, what the heck are you doing? Alright, we're going to pass you in the emergency lane. How about that? So, still noticing a little bit of glitchiness and lag in the gameplay. Um, I'm they're not expecting another release until January when they come back from their holiday break. But um, if they could fix the kind of performance of the game, mainly just the lagginess that you see the minor chopping going on, the game would be so much more enjoyable. I think it has the potential to, to be something cool, but it still it needs some work. So the updates we're seeing is a good start. All right, I'm gonna continue going this way. During the missions, it could be a way marker. I couldn't see one um, for this call out. Seven kilometers away. I noticed the AI still are pretty funky. I've come across a lot of AI doing like constant brake checks for some reason. Almost like they're getting glitched a little bit. I'm trying not to run into as soon as I say that, I'm trying not to run into stuff because you can see, see the little damage meter. Uh, if it hits 100%, that means that uh, you're going to fail whatever mission you're on. Over 200 kilometers per hour, we figured last episode, that meant we were going over 120 miles per hour. Should be right ahead. I wonder what side of the road it's on. Of course, and uh, traffic's come to a standstill. <laughs> We're gonna have to probably go up to the next exit and swing around. Now, that's one of the more frustrating things. If you find your destination, but it's on the other side of the road, you're gonna have to drive all the way up the Autobahn, flip around, come back on the other side there's no way to cut across so we'll go over here still got our lights on so hopefully we can flip around over here somehow okay I had to go into oncoming traffic in order to figure out a way around because the other way was just taking me completely to the wrong part of the map I wanted to go to 
So we should be on the right side of the road now. I know uh, this collision is causing a, a fairly big traffic pile up, so we want to get it um, dealt with so we can get traffic flowing again. I'm always big on trying to get that traffic flowing again because I always hate being in a car and getting stuck in traffic due to an accident. I mean, I'm not going to put our investigation at risk by doing a bad job, but I want to do it as quickly and professionally as possible. All right, um, can we get through here? That's a tight fit. Oh my gosh. Really, guys? I'll take care of checking the personal details before you speak to the people. In the meantime, you can take care of something else. Everything is in order with the papers, but one of the drivers uh -oh. has been drinking alcohol. What's going on with the glitchiness? All right, accident investigation consists of various tasks securing the scene of the accident. Photographing the scene of the accident, accident sketch, clearance of the wreckage, dialogue with the parties involved. Why is my car moving? Not every accident contains all tasks. Accident investigation ends with the final report. Scene of the accident should always be secured first. For this purpose, you can take the traffic cones out of the boot of your vehicle, place them in the highlighted locations. This ensures that the accident can be dealt with safely. I always speak to the parties involved. In the accident, they will each describe to you their view of events and so will make an important contribution to determining the cause of the accident. They will often also tell you little secrets, which can be amusing or shine a different light on the accident. Activate your camera by pressing X, use R to focus the viewfinder on the highlighted objects and photograph them. Once you have photographed an object relevant to the accident, it is unlocked for the accident sketch. All accident related. Objects must be photographed Why is the car still moving in order to finish the sketch. Open the sketch with up on the D-pad. Each photographed object is identified by an icon. For better orientation, an object is already shown on the sketch. The objects need to be both moved and rotated. If the object is placed correctly, it will snap into place and turn green. Lots of um, menus and instructions. Press left bumper, right bumper to switch back and forth between objects. Place the parts into the sketch with L. Objects can be rotated using R and moved with L. All right, that was so much instruction all at once. Um, can I go into photo mode? Yeah, so photo mode seems to have improved. I just want to take a, um... oh man, there we go image of the accident. Oh, I see a license plate on the floor. Up that saturation a little bit. All right, I think it took a picture. Awesome, yep, we're gonna go ahead and leave photo mode and let's get uh, the scene secured with the cones. Now I do like that this is involved in the game, taking the cones out, I like all the processes you have to do to secure a scene and stuff, I think that's pretty cool. All right. Put our cones down. All right, so um, I, I believe it was X for the photograph. So that's what we're gonna do now. Let's get out our camera here. So obviously um, these two vehicles were involved. Okay, so what I need to do is, it looks like each object needs a separate photograph. So we're gonna take a photograph of the damage here. You know, this must be annoying for um, people who works accidents because they leave it right in the middle of the road. Just in the middle of the road, chilling. 
All right, do I need to take a picture of one of these guys? I know uh, we believe alcohol might be involved. What's, oh yeah, what the heck is that? Is glass or something? Yeah, looks like the damage. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, um, should we go ahead and sketch now? Yep. Debris was right there, yep. So accident sketch is completed. That's pretty cool. You just need to recreate the scene. So let's go ahead and start talking to these guys, see what they have to tell us. Han, are you okay? May I ask you a few questions? Of course. What can I do for you? From your point of view, how did the accident happen? In short, I was a bit distracted. I was trying to switch a CD in the car and saw the traffic jam a bit too late. You can see that I rear-ended the car in front a wee bit. It was my mistake, and it certainly won't happen again. Hmm, I see. Thank you for being so honest. So he was distracted? Did you notice anything unusual? Yes, I did. The other driver came over to me immediately and tried to persuade me not to call the police. I found that odd, but when I smelled the alcohol, everything became clear. The driver really smelled of alcohol. I would have informed the police anyway, so that everything was in order. All the more in this case, even if I did cause the accident, that's simply unacceptable. Okay, thank you for your cooperation. So he caused well, the accident, but the other guy is drinking. And <laughs> what the heck, my eyelashes were disconnected from my eyelids. So this must be the driver of the front car. And the other guy rear-ended him. Hello, Mr. Byer. Are you okay? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Um, yes. Go ahead. I'm not injured. Can you tell me how the accident happened? Of course. But it's not actually necessary. I've already told the other driver that I won't be pressing charges. You really mm -hmm. need to come. Well, we're already here. So? I approached the traffic jam and came to a stop in time and without any problems. I was just about to turn on my hazard lights when someone rear-ended me. And that's it. Really no reason to call the police. All right, let's ask about why no police. Why didn't you want to call the police? Well, because it was unnecessary. Hardly anything has happened. A few scratches on my bumper. There really is no need for the police for that. It seems like you have something you want to hide. Mm -hmm. Well, I can smell that you've been drinking alcohol from here. What? Me? You must be mistaken. Day drinking. Look, denying it will only cause you more problems. Well, okay, you're right. I really am sorry. I've just come from a work party. I didn't want to admit it because you're always partly to blame for an accident if you've been drinking. And I really am not to blame for this accident. Well, I have good news for you. That is a popular misconception. If you couldn't have prevented this accident, even while sober, then you're not to blame. Really? That's fantastic. But you still have to answer for the drunk driving. <laughs> I suggest you take an alcohol test. DUI is a lot worse station. than causing an accident. Any objections? No. I'll go with you. Good. That's a wise decision. Please go ahead and take a seat in the patrol car. Taking him into the station for that DUI alcohol test. A look at that overall rating 1250 out of 1250 beautiful all right we're gonna go back in the vehicle i need to go ahead and pick up my cones oh my gosh the lag how do i collect these cones I remember this back trunk is pretty finicky. There we go. Oh, I had it. I guess we don't have to worry about the cones. So we're gonna take this guy back to the station 
can I do a quick travel? Should get us here a lot quicker. Driving this game is sometimes a little painful. All right, let's pull into the station here. Okay, we're gonna park in the middle of the road. Oh man, I wanted to know what his alcohol level was. Disappointing. All right, we'll go ahead and make sure everything's saved up. Guys, thank you for watching this episode. If you want to see more of this game, let me know. Uh, there's call outs. We can do our own traffic patrol somewhere to LSPDFR. I mean, the, um, the possibilities are really out there. Like I said, I just want to see this game continue to be improved upon. There was some bad news that Police Simulator 18, a game that was supposed to come out in January, has been delayed till summer of 2018. So we're going to have to wait even further for that game. Thanks for watching, though, and I'll see you guys on the next patrol.